In this video, I'm, I want to show the uh, the process of how to connect the spindle speed with the with this particular board. It's a, a red Mach 3 USB board that I sell, and uh, in this case, I'm using uh, an HY uh, VFD, and I'm using Mach 3. I'm going to show the output on an oscilloscope right now. It's actually showing uh, 23,000. Uh, 23, 23,000 RPM, and uh, and also how to uh, configure the the Mach 3 uh, settings. So let's see. Let's go to uh, actually. Let me show you the connections first. There is, there are three main connections you want to use for the PWM output from this card. The PWM output is a variable voltage output that is based around uh, digital uh, signal. So it's going to give you a, a square wave and it's going to have a duty cycle and a period. The period is the size of the, you'll, you'll see that a little bit later, is the actual uh, frequency and the duty cycle is how, how wide that pulse is on that period. So the ACM, which is this one right here, connects to the ACM of the VFD, which is right here. And it will show ACM here. The AVI, which is this one right here, will connect to the VI on the VFD. Um, and uh, the 10 volts that's on the board here is an input, it's not an output. So a lot of people get that confused. They think this is an actual 10 volt output, but it's an input uh, to be used as a reference for this voltage because this is working as a uh, kind of like a potentiometer where you, you turn the potentiometer and you connect the potentiometer um, like a, a variable voltage type of uh, scenario or connection. So that has a 10 volt here. This is actually uh, a power supply. This is the VFT has a 10 volt power supply or uh, converts um, its power into 10 volts. And that is, this is a supply of 10 volts. So it'll output 10 volts. You can actually, if you want to put a multimeter between the 10 volts and the ACM, you'll see around 9.8 volts. And that goes into this input here, which is the 10 volt input. All right, so I hope I made that clear. All right, so you're gonna need to work on the parameters. Uh, this particular one will have a source of operating frequency and you wanna make that a one, not a zero. So it'll, it'll actually change the uh, frequency of this variable frequency drive. Um, and you also wanna look at the basic diagram. And you're gonna need this diagram which is, it looks like this. And you'll have this part of the, this is actually the external connections and the, the power connections to the motor for the VFD. And you'll see that there's a VI, there's a VR, there's an AI, and then there's an ACM. The uh, ACM and the uh, VI work together. The VI is the wiper of the potentiometer, uh, very similar to that. And that's where the PWM is gonna go in, into. So that's the actual variable voltage. You can't put a multimeter across ACM and VI because it's a PWM output. Multimeters can't read PWM. It can mainly read uh, an analog voltage and this is a digital version of an analog voltage. If you put a multimeter between the ACM and the, and the, and the VI and you get a, an up and down reading like you're supposed to, that's going to be very strange. You really do need a, an oscilloscope to see that uh, information. Okay. So let me show you the output, what you're supposed to get when you hook this up correctly. So I have the spindle on. So I have actually a 10 volt reading or around 10 volts, probably about 9.8 volts. So you can see that is, there's two lines. Uh, this is the, uh, the zero line and then this is five volts and this is 10 volts. So if I change this to, let's see, S, let's say 1000. Um, so that's gonna be a very, very low voltage. You can see there's a square wave. And from this line to this line, that is a percentage of this um, period from this line to this line. So uh, this is equivalent to like say a thousand um, RPM or th yeah, a thousand RPM. Um, and if I go all the way to 24,000, which is my maximum, it'll just be all the way across. So let's go with 3000. Let's see if we can see a change. 3000. So I'm gonna press enter and I'm gonna show this to you while I do that. So you can see that it made it a little bit wider. That means that there's, it's more on than off. 
so it's going to be um, a little bit higher voltage. Uh, you can think of the voltage as being maybe around this level here. Okay, so let's go to uh, S12000. It should be right in the middle because this is the center. Yeah, it's about centered. So you can see about it's about the same amount on as it is off. So it's about centered. So this is essentially how PWM works. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but uh, this is generally how it works. And you can see that it is outputting a, a good signal. Um, you don't, it actually doesn't look that bad. It looks very, very clean. And, and if it doesn't look clean, you want to use shielded cable. Uh, you want to make sure that you shield the cable between the VFD and the, and the uh, spindle. And you also may want to have an, uh, an inductor across the, the cable to also limit current, uh, current fluctuations. Okay, so let me show you what my parameters are here. So I'm gonna to go to ports and pins and my motor outputs. See the spindle, it's at port or pin three and it's at port three. You can play with these, the active lows and active high. I just have, I just have them active high, active low actually. And if it's not working for you, th what that's gonna do is probably gonna flip this, flip it if, it if it does anything. I actually haven't really tested to see what the response was on that. So this is my uh, configuration for that. If you go to output signals, I really am only using the output number three to turn it on and off, and, and that would be the O3 here, which would be um, right, uh, that terminal right there. And that would actually do the, the run and stop of, um, of the VFD, and that, that's another uh, video that I actually have already on the website on the uh, Mach 3 USB um, controller product page. And then you go to the spindle setup and you wanna make sure that the use spindle motor output is checked and the PWM control is checked. I put 200 here, you can play with that frequency. Uh, that's probably gonna give you like the period. I haven't really um, played with that that much. And you wanna make sure that the minimum PWM is the minimum percentage of speed that you are comfortable with your spindles uh, spinning. So like I wouldn't put this anywhere lower than like maybe 60% uh, if I'm gonna connect it to my 2.2 kilowatt spindle since that is, um, I don't wanna run it any less than that. And it won't allow you to go any lower than 60%. Okay, so let's see what else. And I have the uh, output, uncheck the disable spindle relays and I have the output as number three to turn it on and off. I think that is it. Oh, and actually I have one more. So it's gonna do the reset on you. So go to the config and under spindle pulleys, you're gonna have to put in um, what your max speed is on your on your VFD or on your spindle and mine is 24,000 and I have the pulley number one. So there you go. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm probably gonna post this on Instagram and I might actually post this on uh, YouTube. So either way, um, give me some uh, feedback and uh, let me know um, how you fare with that. Thank you.